All right, so I've been advising caution for uh, a bit now. Um, the rally in the metals is uh, very mature. We're very deep in the intermediate cycle. Uh, we're due any time now for the declining part of the uh, uh, intermediate cycle to begin. So um, I'll show you a couple of warning signs. Um, first, I'm going to look at the miners. Uh, this, this is a warning sign, in my opinion. <clears throat> the uh, miners tried to recover today and pop back above the 10-day moving average, and they could not hold that, um, that rally attempt. Um, warning sign um, could be uh, telling us that uh, we're starting to move down into a daily cycle low. Here's another one. <clears throat> um, everything is healthy at this point. We're getting... Uh, RSI is uh, staying, uh, you know, either heavily overbought or embedded uh, in the overbought condition, and now we're starting to change here. This this rally attempt was not able to push RSI uh, either to, uh, you know, a, a, a deeply overbought condition or embed in the overbought condition. Uh, instead, it turned down almost immediately once uh, the overbought condition was reached. That. Uh, that is a warning sign that, um, uh, you know, the, in, the declining phase of the intermediate cycle could be beginning. So what I'm going to uh, keep track of here over the next um, week, two weeks, uh, is if this, uh, if, if this does turn into a, the correction into the daily cycle low, then if the, uh, if the market or if the uh, rally is still healthy, then it will bounce quickly off of this uh, over you know off of any oversold condition here and start a new rally if it does not do that if it gets deeply oversold or if it starts to embed in the oversold uh, condition that that would be um, a very serious warning sign that uh, the the intermediate cycle is topped and we're now in the declining phase of of that intermediate cycle all right so moving on to gold <clears throat> Um, kind of this the same, you know, I'm going to watch the same thing here. Um, you know, nothing at all wrong with the market here, uh, embedded, you know, into a heavily overbought condition. That's a sign that the advancing part of the intermediate cycle is still intact. So um, we are, you know, very, very late in this daily cycle. Definitely due for a move down into a daily cycle low. Daily uh, cycle lows, um, you know, they need to... Uh, break below and turn the 10-day moving average back down and they should close below the uh, cycle uptrend line so there's there's still a lot of distance that needs to be covered here uh, before gold is, is going to close below this uh, uptrend line and that uh, could potentially set up uh, a condition where the RSI uh, gets either heavily oversold or gets embedded in the oversold condition. And uh, and if that happens, uh, I think you've got to, at that point, assume that uh, this was an intermediate top and that we are moving down into the intermediate cycle low. And as I have explained in my uh, some of my previous videos, these these don't end quickly. Uh, and, and that's the big mistake that a lot of novice traders make is they they become conditioned to the market only going up and then you know they're chomping at the bit waiting for a correction they want to buy the dip and then expect the market to just continue doing what it's doing uh, but at, at some point the uh, intermediate cycle tops and then that doesn't work anymore then we we start stair stepping down so at some point we would make um, not only a lower low but a, a lower high so uh, I'm, yeah, I envision what's going to happen here is we're, we're probably going to come down, break below this um, daily cycle uptrend line, and then we'll get our daily cycle low, and then we'll bounce. And the bounce will not be strong enough to make a higher high. It'll it'll come up short somewhere here, and then we'll roll over. And uh, as I said in my last video, I think the I think the first part of this move into the daily cycle low is is likely to be some kind of a mini crash event that kind of quickly wipes out this last little um, parabolic buying uh, spree here. And then the uh, next part of the intermediate decline is probably, uh, after a bounce, is probably a multi-week grind. So um, I would say, 
you know, minimum six weeks for this to run its course, maybe even as many as eight weeks uh, for the, you know, entire intermediate decline to run its course. So I don't think you need to be in any big hurry to buy um, metals again um, until, you know, mid-September at the very earliest. And probably, um, I'm going to say probably the first week of October, we've got the employment report on the first Friday of October. That is a potential trigger event. It's starting to look very much like the employment report last week was the trigger event for the dollar to bottom and possibly for gold uh, to top. So maybe the employment report uh, the first week of October is the trigger event for uh, the intermediate decline to finally come to an end. And then, uh, like I've been saying, I think the next intermediate cycle gives us a sustained breakout and we start uh, the bubble phase in gold in earnest and they typically last about a year uh, to a year and a half so we'll just keep an eye on this um, we still got a long ways to go to break this trend line uh, odds are good that by the time that happens this um, rsi is going to either uh, get deeply oversold or embed in the oversold condition and uh, and i think you have to at that point you have to take that warning seriously and assume that the intermediate decline has begun and then um, under, just understand that, that they take a while to run uh, their course. It, sentiment is extremely bullish in the metals and that bullishness isn't going to get wiped out quickly. It's going to take, you know, uh, it's going to take you know, minimum four, probably six to eight weeks to uh, completely turn that bullish sentiment into bearish sentiment. And then once we do, then we'll have the fuel for the uh, bubble phase of the gold market to begin in earnest.